Hello, hello. Doing a little channeled message, but I have this poetry book. It's called I Wrote This For You. Um, I'm just going to flip to a random page. We're going to do two different piles, so you just pick one, one or two. Uh, put a timestamp in the pinned comment, and I'm just going to open the page, and then that'll be number one, and then I'll do the little card pool, and then we'll go into the second one. So just have in your mind pile one or pile two. And pile one is going to be this sign. The Way Forward. It has a date on it of Thursday, May 26th, 2016. So that may be significant to you in some way. You should never pass up the chance to break your heart in new and interesting ways. And it's page 165, so that may be some of you as well. You should never cat just knocked something over sounds okay okay um you should never pass up the chance to break your because <laughs> the cat okay anyway you should never pass up the chance to break your heart in new and interesting ways so let's see what we get here i'm gonna start with one of these When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. Let your life be transformed. So allowing heartbreak to transform your life is the theme here. Allowing heartbreak to transform your life yeah so this is losing what you had to gain something better this is people and situations and circumstances were in your path and filling your path that weren't actually going to fulfill what you wanted and you had to let them go the hard way because you didn't have a reason to let them go otherwise because you were seeing the light in them when they were only feeding you the darkness when they were only feeding you the darkness and there was a lot of getting in your head. There was a lot of playing with your connection to your own intuition. And there's a feeling of needing to step back, to step forward. It's almost like one of those um, mirror maze things where you go in and like, you can't really see, but you think it's the path. And then if you go a little bit too fast, you hit the wall and you hit it kind of hard and you may run into it or bust your head through it. it that's the effect that it's having. It's You've been trapped in this mirror maze and you're breaking free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you've, been trapped, you've been trapped in the mirror maze, the maze in your mind, and you're breaking free because there was a whole like plan to keep you there and you began to see through it mm -hmm. tower and that's the thing about darkness it can't combat with the light and this is the reason imagine you have a completely brightly lit up room and you take a handful of darkness and you bring it in the room what's gonna happen nothing the rest of the room is still going to be light okay imagine you have a completely dark room and you bring in a handful of light see where i'm going here what happens to the rest of the room when you bring in the light you can see more the darkness does nothing it only has the power you give it if you bring in more darkness bigger darkness yeah it's going to get darker in the room because it's it's how much you feed it the same is not true with light the same is not true with light. When you bring in the light, it starts to light up the other parts of the room that were not lit up before. And that is what you have to earn the ability to do because there has to be things sent to stop you to see how bad you want it. Fake friends, fake family even, fake 
coworkers, and whoever you're running into that's trying to dim your light, stop looking at it as it's something personal and look at it as I have a light and this person may not even know it because they're not awake enough to see it, but they're being used as a pawn to dim my light. And I'm not gonna let them in, access denied. The theme for you right now is access denied. Access denied because you're stepping into your power and there's nothing they can do and they're gonna hate it. They're gonna hate it. Oh well. You already cut the cord, so it doesn't matter really. Pile two. Uh, this one. Most of us will never actually sit down and think about what we really want. Whoa. All right. Most of us will never actually think. Nope. Most of us will never actually sit down and think about what we really want. Plus. Even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true. Therefore, you don't need to take whatever you hear in your own, own mind personally. Release self-judgment. So what this is saying then is you don't think that you're worthy of the dreams that you have. Consciously or subconsciously, <laughs> you don't think you're worthy of the dreams that you have, either consciously or subconsciously, because these are the dreams you have. This is your worthiness. You're not, they're not connected. They're not on the same direction. And what is standing in your way, apparently, is yourself. What is standing in your way is yourself. Um, okay. What is standing in your way is yourself and it's it's time to get out of it it's time to get out of the way yeah independence it's time to break free from whatever was keeping you feeling like you aren't deserving and worthy of going after what you want yeah the light you need to turn on the light if you watched pile one it was about turning on the light in the room and that's what you're doing you're stepping into realizing did i ever actually figure out what my goal is in this or why i'm putting so much energy towards this what is my end goal did i define it because if not how do i know when i got there am i just going for a feeling am i going for a number am i going for a platform you know trajectory like what is your goal what is your goal because once you have it it changes everything because then you know how you can work towards it until you know where the finish line is and I say finish line loosely in terms of finishing your initial goal so that you can then create bigger ones right not finish line as in then you're done finish line as in chapter finish line <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> as in chapter finish line you're going up the steps you're not completely done but you're going up the steps you're working towards whatever the next step is so that finish line until you define it you can never reach it because it doesn't exist until you define it mm -hmm. and you'll break your own heart going after something that doesn't exist and that is the delusion that gets us caught up and trapped because we are made to feel like we're not worthy or big enough to have those dreams because nobody does that. Nobody, nobody changes that. Nobody steps out of the small town. Nobody steps out of the day to day, low income, low joy job. Who cares if nobody does it? You can, you can King of swords. You are who is creating your reality. So what you say to yourself, to others in situations, anything is determining what is going on around you. They just made you believe that those things didn't matter to trap you, mm -hmm. to trap you. 
and it's back to that same light effect that I used in the first reading. I'm going to say it again. Pile one. If you have a completely black room or you have a completely bright lit up room and you bring in a handful of darkness, what is it going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you then switch the scenario and you bring a handful of light into a completely dark room, what is that going to do? Light it up. Because the light wins every time. You can't conceal the light when it's in the darkness. This is essentially being on stage, but in reverse. Think of the lights coming onto you when you're on the stage. Once there is but one spotlight, even if it's on you, it helps you see what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you can then see clearly what the plan was to keep you from getting there and why they wanted to keep you from getting there because the same effect then goes into the whole collective not just your own life but the collective think of the entire world as a blanket of darkness what happens when we each start to turn on the light it becomes a party again we start to enjoy life again Look at all the light. Look at all the joy. Why can't it be this way? It can. If you think of the entire world as a blanket of darkness, that's scary, right? Until each of us individually decides to turn on the light. It's not so dark anymore. Have a good day.